Hello! This video is to help explain how to navigate some of the primary features of the Archives of Appalachia's website. So on this main page here, you can see some of the basic information about the archive. Particularly right now, you can see at the top of this page here, the summer hours special for right now. And the regular hours and location information is also posted down here in this visiting the archive section. And also at the bottom of this page, we have links to background information about the archive, such as the history, mission, and staff, which are all very important things that you might need. Um, and there are also another, another um, multitude of links down here, such as access to the archives, different collections, um, social networking, and just other information about related things on the ETSU campus. So, if we go further back up the page, here we have three of the core links that you would be using to access the, ar the archive online. Um, search the library is actually useful for searching the entire East Tennessee State University shared library database, and that will um, give you access to any books, um, articles, things like that, that the shared library, library has access to. So um, Ask an Archivist is another important link, and this will take you to a page that will give you information on contacting the archive, and particularly on contacting, contacting the archive in relation to different collections that you might be using for a different type of research. So this last tab is the Search Collections tab. And if you're doing online research through the archive, this is probably one of the most important tabs you'll be using. So this tab takes you to the archive search tool, which helps you actually find what you're looking for in the archive. You can search by term, you can search by collection, subject, name, um, you can just search through a variety of different things and it will allow you to kind of browse through what you're looking for in particular. And when you are finished with that, you can return to the main archive page, and you can even ask the archivist more questions about the artifact if they don't have all of the information posted online. So I hope that this video has helped you learn a little bit about using the archive, and particularly about using the Archives of Appalachia's website. Good luck with your research.